Hello guys! Hello everybody! Hello you! Welcome to my channel, Grace Art. I am Jam and today in this video, we are going to open this little package that we got from Hobby. So guys, in this video, it is not just going to be an unboxing video, but it will be also a work in progress video of the pattern that we are going to get from Hobby. And the pattern designer is also called um, Lemon Yarn Creations. So I am just going to put all of the links down below so you can check them out. Just to be sure, this is not going to be a tutorial video, but it will just be a little work in progress video. And if you want guys this kind of video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to like, to comment, or say hi. And there's also a little um, notification bell down below so if you can also just click on that so whenever I posted something you will be notified that I posted something so now let's open the box or let's open the package and let's see what I got so guys the package is open looks like this but before anything else I just also want to say thank you hobby for the gift that you gave me I am so excited to um, start with the project and just create a lot of lovely things um, with this yarn. So thank you for this little package. So right now, so I just opened the package of course. I In, in the receipt that I saw here, I got 11 different kinds of colors but the same, um, the, the same kind of yarn. So those yarn or the yarn that I got is from Cotton Kings. Um, 8 by 4 it looks like this so this is I think what they call the clear clear red color looks like that so it really looks so pretty red <laughs> looks like that um, I also got of course the white one and if I remember this is called the um, let's see your sky blue This is the chestnut This is called the lilac color And I think this is the oh yeah, this is yellow Looks like that and then we also got the uh, light rosa. Looks like that. We also got the uh, light green color. And it looks also like this. And then we also got this is I think the color of the sunflower. Which is also so pretty. And this is... I think rust color rust and the last but not the least I think we got here the color beige so it looks like that and of course with um, hobby yarns they always give you their little candies so it looks like that so thank you for this little um, sweet little thing so we were going to talk about the Cotton Kings um, yarn. So this one, the Cotton Kings um, 8x4, it is, this one is 50 grams and it is like 170 meters long or 185 yard, yards. And this one is 100% cotton. So if you can see it there, how beautiful it is. It is just so pretty. So you can use a 3mm crochet hook from this and Hobby is actually coming from Denmark so it is just like um, uh, it came all over the world I think you know it just came from Denmark so it looks like that. The thing that I like from um, Hobby is that every time you are going to buy yarn from them they already um, give you this little easy start pool like that where you don't have to find the end of the yarn 
because most of the time whenever I am getting the the yarn from this side I always get that little yarn barf or yarn vomit <laughs> you know whenever I pull it and just I just get like a little uh, a big chunk of yarn so with hobby they always get or they always have this little um, little pull out so this is really just um, nice to have so if you can also see how little it is or how small the how small the yarn is it looks like that it is so soft I'm just gonna try if it isn't going looks like that so the yarn is so soft you can really feel that this is like um, a soft yarn so um if you are going to compare this one to the other hobby yarns, this is just like the same as the Cotton King's um, Premium, I think, or something like that. Um, with the big cake of yarn, this is like how it feels like to have this little 8x4 yarn. So guys, those for the yarn that we got for now. So now, we are going to make a little work in progress and let's see on how I will do with this little project that I am thinking to make. These are the yarns that I've shown you earlier and they are just looking very pretty. So if you can see it here, they're all from Cotton Kings and they're just so soft and pretty. And I know that I am going to make something very nice out of this yarn. And the pattern that we are going to make right now is from this pattern. And that is really the Easter lamp. I'm sorry that it is not on colored um, print. But um, this is what is is going to be looking like. And I was like thinking I'm just going to change the colors of this pattern. Because the basket I kind of like to use maybe the chestnut color and the eggs I'm just going to check on what it is um, you know is that suits my style so I'm just going to like check it out so in this um, pattern you can also see it here that it is requiring me to use the 3 millimeter crochet hook and the 6 millimeter crochet hook or the US size J10 so this is what the pattern looks like the pattern you can just of course get it from their site so please visit them so you can you know get this from them and of course since i am talking about the crochet hooks i also have um three crochet hooks that i, I prepared so i have the three millimeter crochet hook and it looks like this and i also have the six millimeter crochet hook that I can see, show it to you guys the 6mm crochet hook and just to be sure I also prepared my 5mm crochet hook for this project so it is looking like that so guys um, right now I really wanted to start this project so I am going to try to read the pattern right now and then i'm going to see in which part shall i start and let's see how is it going to be um you know after making this how is it going to look like so let's go i'm so excited so guys i decided that i will make the head first and because of that i chose this yarn so this is the color 36 yarn or I think this is the beige one so we are going to start with that one so now going to get this top here and then it's going to be official right now so let's start making this pattern so first thing that we are going to use is this the magic ring so to make that like so it's your six okay.
So guys, a couple of minutes already passed and this is what it looks like. Um, so this is the front side and this is the back side of the amigurumi. So, I am now on the seventh row and I am just going to continue making this for now and later on once it is a little bit bigger i am going to show you guys what will it what uh, will it look like but for now i'm just going to add more rows and then if you can see of course outside it is already dark so it means like later i am also going to sleep so i am just going to check how many rows i can still make today and then i'll just continue tomorrow so guys, just a little bit of um, progress report. I already made this little um, egg. So I decided that I just wanted to do like um, a pink colored yarn and a yellow colored yarn. And I just alternate them so it looks like this. I can just actually just <laughs> fix the egg to be really looking like an egg so it looks like that so I just changed the color from pink to yellow pink yellow and I ended up on a yellow yarn and the thing that I also made is of course this is the head of the sh of the lamb I mean I'm sorry and I leave I left a very long tail on it and this is what it looks like so it's going to be looking like this later and then i also made already the four legs so it looks like this so they're a bit fluffy they also have this filling inside so i just finish all of those at the moment so it looks like that I'm just going to put everything here and for the ears I also made already two different ears and later on I have to sew this all of course on the lamp so it's going to be like this to the sides like this <laughs> like that and I also made the ch cheek already so it looks like this so later on, I am going to sew all of them with the body and also um, on the face of this lamp. And right now, at this very moment, I am making another egg. So I decided that I will just make a yellow egg. So I'm just going to continue uh, making this. And yeah, it's just um, I don't really know what else I'm going to do right now but I just really want to make the egg yellow colored so I'm just continuing this one and this is already actually on round 12 of the egg so yeah it's just fun but later on with this egg I think I'm just going to embroider something cute on it I'm not sure yet what, but I'm just going to embroider something with it later. So guys, I just finished the pattern and it looks like this. Look at this. Look how pretty and cute and snuggly is our Lily the Easter Lamb. So it looks like that. <laughs> so because this is an Easter project, we also made of course like little two eggs that I have here. And it looks like this. So I made a pink with yellow yarn. And the other one is only with yellow yarn but with a cracking effect of the egg. 
It's like that. And I also made like on the top like a little flower themed looking kind of design. <laughs> it's not really a... It's like that and like this. So with all of the yarns that I used, this is a Cotton Kings 8 over 4 yarn. Like this one. And also I used um, for the face. And for the cheeks and for the you know this one the arms and legs and for the top we use a baby snuggle yarn so like this so with this pattern it is very easy to follow if you are going to make it and what i can say with this one is that i kind of made a little adjustment with this um, project because I didn't have the proper yarn that I will be needing to make this project on what it says on the pattern. So I just made a little adjustment and instead of using a like a 6mm crochet hook for the baby snuggle, I used a 4.5mm crochet hook so that the head can fit on my Cotton Kings 8 um, over 4 um, yarn. Because when I did the uh, 6mm crochet hook, um, <laughs> the cap was actually eating the whole head that you cannot even see the face anymore. And it was not really um, super nice anymore. So what I did is that I changed my hook to 4.5 and it turned out to be like this. And I just um, decreased some um, things here on the top but it turned out to be okay. But of course, if you have the same yarn like what says on the pattern, then the pattern wouldn't be any problems at all because it is really just made for that one. But I happen to don't ha I happen not to have um, all of the yarns that is being needed or to make this little um, lamp. So I just made a little, um, you know, little style or little adjustment with it. So it looks like that. So guys, if you like to do or to make this pattern, the pattern will be just on my link down, uh, on my description box down below. I will just put all the links there so you can follow the crochet pattern of this one. And don't forget also to use the hashtag Lily the Easter Lamb. I'm also going to put it down there so you can also um, just include it or just whenever you post something, you can include it. So we can see on what you created and what um, if, um, if you finish this, um, this pattern. Okay, so yeah, I just really love it and I'm very happy to make this lamp. Um... Actually, this is not yet done, but I mean, there is also still like a little basket that you have to make for this. I didn't make it anymore um, because I am busy, but for this moment, I think this is much more what I really like to make. So <laughs> I'm just gonna, yeah, just stop here and just really enjoy having this little Lamb. So guys, if you enjoy of course this video and you want to see this kind of videos later, of course like what I said on the earlier part of this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like, comment, and say hi. And of course, yeah, if you created this, we want to see what you made. And hobby i am i'm thankful again for the yarns that you gave me so thank you very much for the gift and guys again um i'll see you next time and thank you again for watching and bye bye